Okay, in uh, this edition, we are going to take our keyboard game and just kind of you know, add a couple nice features. We're going to change the background image uh, so it looks a little bit nicer, and we want to add some sound uh, to our game. Okay, so fortunately, doing these is pretty easy uh, on the Mac. Um, the background image thing will work on basically any computer. Um, the way we're going to do the sound will only work on a Mac. If you have Windows or, or Linux, uh, you'll have to use some other method. Uh, but so, but for my class, fortunately, we all have Macs. So here it goes. Uh, so basically, the first thing we need to do is is we need to just load basically the background image. And to do that, we use WN. Uh, I think it's BG Pick, and then we need to have the name of it. So it's Kiwi Game BG dot GIF. And one thing I've, I've noticed with this, I've tried a couple different file formats. Uh, please use the GIF format. Uh, if it's a different format, you'll need to convert it. Now, this one seems to be working without any errors. So let's run that and see if we see what that looks like. Okay, there we go. So we've got this background image. Okay. Now, this background image didn't just come out of nowhere. I actually I created it using Photoshop. And if I go to the folder, um, you'll see it's actually in the folder. Um, now I made this uh, 600 by 600 pixels uh, so that that kind of fits and the reason for that was that we have our uh, collision detection working so we have 0 0 here and we collision detect around here which is 300 or 290 actually and then same thing over here minus 300 uh, when you load the image it loads it and it centers it uh, automatically which is quite nice rather than putting it up here in the corner um, so I knew that a 300 by, or sorry, 600 by 600 image uh, would match the dimensions that we already had. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. So again, the key thing there, of course, is to have the image. Now I chose like a star type background because that's what it kind of reminds me of a little spaceship type game. And yeah, so that's that. Uh, you also notice I kind of upped the number of goals to 10, but you know. Uh, don't go too high because it gets really slow and you have to play around the tracer function a bit. But uh, yeah, the next thing is we want to add some sounds. So as you can see, I already have two MP3s in here, one called bounce, which is for when we bounce against the wall, and collision, which is for when the uh, player collides with the ball. So to do that, um, we're going to use the AF play feature of Linux. So uh, if you remember that from another lesson, it's part of OS. So we go to import OS, and then what we do is we just type os.system, and this sends a call to our system. And it's, the command is af play. Just type the name of the mp3 file, mp3. And because we want it to keep playing in the background, not play, then come back to the game, we want the game to keep going, we put the and symbol at the end there. So I'm just going to copy that. And paste it for all of our bounces, uh, which is, and again, we're using this for boundary checking. So, okay, I'm gonna make sure it's Python, so we gotta make sure our indentation is correct. Okay, so now for our collisions, we wanna do it just a little bit differently. We wanna use, it's called collisions. Now it has to match what's in the same, in this case, the same folder as our KB game file. So you got the background here, but collision.mp3, bounce.mp3. Let's hide that. Hopefully we did that correctly. And let's run it. Okay, so you hear that as they hit the border, they make that sound. Okay, and as we do a collision, it is playing the sound in the background. that. Um, yeah, I think just like that, I don't, really don't like this green background, so I might change that to white. So I think it'll look, look a little bit better contrast-wise. Yeah, it much better. I'll do that once a thought. Um, I could use a larger uh, larger uh, image. Let's see if I, let's say I try to do the border here. Um, change the uh, color of that pen border that we did. My pen dot color paint. And 
Let's see if we make the background black. Let's see if that works. Okay, that looks better. That's kind of annoying, but... Now we can fix that with a, a better, um, you know, bouncing code. But uh, for our purposes, we'll just won't stress too much about it for now. So that is that. Um, so basically, you just you know create the image, make sure it's a GIF, uh, make sure the size is correct how you wanted it, um, and then use the wn.vgpick. I should stop that. wn.backgroundpick vgpick uh, method. Uh, make sure the name is correct. Make sure it's in the same folder in this case. Um, we can kind of play it around with the border colors to get it make it look a little bit nicer. And uh, basically, so whenever you want it to play. Uh, we use on Mac again. This does not work on Windows. Does not work on Linux. Um, AF play file name, and then we append the and character at the end, the ampersand, and that is that.